YouTube, Intuitive Edge. Today I would like to look at the volcano down in Hawaii and what's happening down there on the Big Island. They've had numerous small earthquakes and two fairly good size earthquakes in the last probably 24 hours, I think. And so I'd like to look at uh, what's going on down there. Is it, <clears throat> is it going to get uh, worse before it gets better? Um, have we made it past the worst of it or what is there more to come? Kind of what's, what's the situation down there with Hawaii? So I'm going to ask the tarot. So give me a moment while I shuffle up the cards and we'll get started. So give me just a moment here. All right, all right, let's cut the deck here. <clears throat> so we're gonna look at the volcano down in Hawaii. What's going on down there? Okay, all right, we have the sacrifice card crossed by the Four of Cups. All right, and both of these cards are reversed. <clears throat> to me, this feels like there's something more that is beneath the surface that we don't see. <clears throat> this feels like there is, there is something that is driving this that's a little deeper. Um, and it feels to me that there is more going on um, in the magma chamber itself, down below the surface. Um, it feels like there's a, 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 a large amount of magma intrusion or movement going on <clears throat> beneath the surface. Um, this feels very deep. Um, it also feels like a larger amount too, not just that there's magma on the move underneath but that it's it's a larger than anticipated or larger than previously thought or perhaps more than scientists are aware of at this point there is uh, there is more going on down underneath okay all right crossed by the four of cups this is kind of a card of being despondent. Interesting, you've got that river flow there. Um, let me keep going on this. Just keep moving here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, good. Okay. So we have the justice card that's uh, coming into view. Um, that's also a card of balance, weighing the scales, putting things right. Um, there could be some obvious earth challenges, earth changes, earth balances, uh, <clears throat> but it's on the reversal. Um, Bringing things into balance. Let me see what else we've got here. We have the Magician card. This is on what we know and what's hidden, what we don't know. And this is a card of alchemy. Bringing things, bringing various parts together into one cohesive whole. Um, and I think that is meaning that there's possibly a joining of um, a joining of chambers or a connection somehow underneath the earth between various channels. Okay. 
past. Um, this is like, um, oh, oh, being, feeling overwhelmed, too much going on, not knowing what's coming next. And it's, it's on the reversal in the past. Um, and let's see what the bridge is to the future. Got a messenger card on the future. This feels like there's some shift or change coming in the landscape that could involve displacement of farms and people. Um, and I know that that's going on as people are evacuating, but I think that this will be more long-term, um, that it's going to affect more than just, um, you know, people need to evacuate and then they're let back real soon. I think the changes, this could affect change that is more drastic and long-term. Um, it, it feels like the atmosphere is a little bit dense too um not like trouble like really trouble breathing it or or like a like a, a, almost like a toxic smell or feel to the air that might make the air quality um and I don't think that it's going to go away anytime soon. I think that this might kind of continue to bubble up. Maybe it's a, a sulfur smell or some sort of rotten egg smell or some sort of smell is, um, is going to be permeating the area and it might make being near there unpleasant just from the air. Um, but also the land itself feels like it's, there's, there's going to be some change or displacement. Okay. Um, I know this is kind of hard to fit all these on, on here. Okay. So we have here the judgment card. This is like a, like a card of reckoning. Um, realizing changes are of a higher nature. Um, this is, probably more than just um it, it's going to cause some some major change and it's going to cause some property loss some people are probably going to lose possibly farms or homes or land um they, they may have to be displaced or move or change locations um And this is kind of like having to look over and review kind of where you've been. Let me see what else we've got. We have the moon card on the wishes, hopes, fears. And the eight on the outcome card is a card of loss. Um... That's a, that's a card of having to move on and basically just deal with loss and move on. And so I think that this, um, this is going to be an ongoing thing. I don't sense that it's going to be over any time, like, like, you know, in the next day or two, I think this is going to be something that happens over a period of time. Um, but I do think that the, the smell or the, release of some sort of gases in the area is going to make it living there either really uncomfortable or not possible. And I'm not talking about like the whole island, of course, but there are sections that might be permeated with that, that nasty smell and it's not going to have an easy solution or go away anytime soon. Um, <clears throat> 
on the overall, this is actually a nice card, a positive card. So I think that there will come um, a rebuilding or when this eruption is at least subsided enough that there will be some positive that comes of it. So um, it doesn't feel like it's completely, you know, devastating. Um, it will be in pockets and to certain people that are directly affected. Um, but, but we have a nice positive card kind of rounding it out there at the bottom. Um, it does, does feel like there's some, some challenges ahead for the area and, uh, possibly some more earth changes and movement, but, and also as a recap, it, I, I, I do feel there is something with the magma underneath either becoming more, voluminous like there's an, an increase of the magma pressure or or influx or some sort of connection between the volcanoes um that they're that way down underneath they really are all somehow connected or there's some sort of connection Okay, um, I'm going to leave that here. Um, prayers and well wishes for the people down there that are directly affected. Um, and, uh, you know, hope that people can salvage what they can if they're in the direct path of this and, and get their things and their belongings out and um, find a way to move on or rebuild or whatnot. Um, lots of changes ahead. So we shall see. Everybody um, say a prayer for them down there in Hawaii. And um, thank you for stopping by my video. If you like it, leave a like. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.